My name is Lyle. I am otherwise known as Therapy Gecko, and I am a gecko and I take uh, phone calls from people on the computer. Well, I, I always give the spiel that I have no idea what I'm doing. I didn't think I would get this far. People call me a Therapy Gecko. I, I picked the name Therapy Gecko early in my career. I hate the name. I don't give therapy. I have no idea what I'm doing. If you call me for advice and I give you bad advice, it is your fault. Therapy Gecko is a live stream that I do that I talk to strangers on the internet uh, over the phone. I don't screen any of the phone calls. And it's interesting, you would think that 90% of the phone calls are people like farting into the phone or like trolling or whatever. And that exists, but I talk to all kinds of people about all kinds of things. Sometimes we get a little bit serious, sometimes we get silly, sometimes people will reveal things to me that I don't even know if they expected to reveal. Um, and it's, it's a good time. I'm very grateful that uh, people feel comfortable uh, uh, sharing their experiences with me. I did not expect it to happen. We sometimes have a topic, but I don't like the topics that much because I do look at topics as sort of, you know, they're, they're guiding points, but I also sort of look at topics as, you know, I don't want people to see them as prisons uh, uh, that we need to fully, um, you know, uh, uh, leave our, our, our conversation in the bounds of. So a long time ago, no, about a year ago, I made a short film uh, called Help, 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 Help. Uh, that is about a uh, lizard who escapes from a young boy who is trying to have sex with him. And uh, it was called Curtis, it was called Help, 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 Help. And uh, so I made that, uh, that, so I made that, and it wasn't very good, uh, but I had the gecko suit lying around. That was sort of prong one, and then prong two was um, RPAN happened. And I saw these people doing all these interesting things on RPAN, and I thought it would be an interesting place to stream. And I, know I, I knew I wanted to stream there, but I didn't know what exactly I wanted to stream. And so the two things, the fact that I already had the gecko costume, sort of, they both combined to form Therapy Gecko. It, it, it's weird. I, I, I sort of do understand the concept of the spirit animal now. Because when I see geckos out in the wild, or when I see them on the computer doing their little, you know, gecko thing, I, um, I definitely identify with them. So it's almost like the animal was picked for me and then I learned to uh, form a greater attachment to it uh, after, after the fact. Um, I got very lucky because the, my stream started popping off relatively early and it's all 100% thanks to Reddit and Reddit Public Access Network. Reddit Public Access Network is like the most underutilized social media network that exists right now because nobody uses it and it's like always on the front page of Reddit, which everyone uses. It's the weirdest thing because everyone uses Reddit. All the, everyone's always on Reddit, but no one ever uses RPAN. As opposed to like Twitch, where you can stream for 10 years and no one will ever come by your thing. Actually, I had a particular moment where I realized that the stream was getting bigger than I thought it had. Uh, when my sister posted a TikTok of me like behind the scenes doing one of my streams and that went viral for some reason and I thought it went and I thought it went viral just because like out of context it was like just a funny thing that your brother is do is dressed up as a gecko and I thought that nobody who, like who was like interacting with it knew who I was and I looked through the comments and all the comments were like oh my god that's therapy gecko and I'm like I did not know that these many people who like don't even follow me like know who I am so that was that was kind of a trip well, every sort of internet thing needs needs a hook, and I and I you know obviously I have this gimmick that I am a gecko, and I think that when people see it, they you know people are scrolling down the, their feeds at the speed of light, and uh, you know when they see that when they see something, they that makes them just stop and go wait what the fuck is this, um, and then you know the the clips that I post on social media I, I edit them in a, like a story driven way such that like, all right, so you know, I, I, it's sort of intentional where I'm like, okay, a person scrolling through TikTok at the speed of light, they stop because they're like, what the hell is this thing? And then someone says, uh, you know, um, it goes from A to B to C to D to the end. So like someone says, you know, the caller is like, I'm having some issues with my roommates. So they go, hey, what the f is this green guy doing? Hey, what are the issues with the roommates? With the roommates, my roommates are trying to poison me. Then they go, what? And you know, it just kind of keeps going on and on. So I've sort of, Tried to be very intentional with that like hook, line, and sinker way of, of storytelling when I'm editing these clips.
My dad loves it. My dad is in the chat, interacting every every once in a while. Uh, my mom thinks it's cool. My sister was on the stream. My friends think it's cool. It's funny though, because my, my friends, I don't think my friends look at me as like a guy that they want to take advice from. Uh, so it's funny because I have all these people on the internet who will call me for advice, but then I go into like my personal life where no one really wants my advice on sh Um, there was a kid who called me who was high on mushrooms. I took yeah, be honest. a very large bag of mushrooms. I feel like I have been in an, in like a infinity loop. And we started, he told me that he wanted to be reincarnated as a bird. And I told him, and I asked him about it. He, and he also believed that in a past life, he was an ant or something like that. And so I was just talking with this kid about like the cycle of life and how he wants to be a bird. And then uh, after he's a bird, he'll be an astronaut. And he was like, you know, tripping out pretty intensely on mushrooms. And then his mom comes in the room. <laughs> What's up? How are you? I'm good. Are you, uh, what's your son's name? Robert. Are you guys doing mushrooms together? Are we doing mushrooms together? No. No? And I asked to talk to her. And, oh, no, he he asks me. I don't ask to talk to her. He tells me you should talk to my mom. So I talked to his mom. And so I'm like, are you guys, are you and your son tripping mushrooms together? And she says, no, I have no idea what you're talking about. And so I'm just like, I got, oh, I, I kind of told on this kid. That was weird. That was pretty weird. I like one, I like, I like ones when people come to me with like, I, I, I like the softballs pitches. Cause if someone calls to me and with something like really heavy and really serious, like I was abused or anything like that, I, 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 you know, you know, you got, you got to talk to a real therapist. But if someone has like, you know, some sort of mid grade relationship issues, those are the things that I think are interesting to talk about. There are good, there are moments where I do feel like I actually was able to help someone. Um, but I always look at that as a bonus, you know, because um, I don't know everything. Oh, um, just the persona thing. Like, um, it, it's, it's really just a heightened version of myself. It it's almost makes it me feel, it almost makes me feel better about uh, being open myself. It's, it's a weird thing because the gecko suit helps me be open more and it also helps the callers be open more. I feel much more confident in a gecko suit because I don't know why, but you feel like you're not yourself. And when you're not yourself, you almost have to, you, when you're not yourself, you almost don't have to take credit for anything that you do. I like the, I like my community a lot because uh, a lot of like Twitch streamers or uh, not Twitch streamers, like a lot of Twitch communities are kind of assholes. And my community is very, actually, nice people. They're good people. They're supportive of the caller in the chat. Um, I've sent Twitch raids to other streamers, and they've commented on how, like, my community is, like, extra nice. So I feel like, you know, I don't do, I don't watch a lot of Twitch myself, but I do feel like we have, you know, an above average community in terms of their uh, lack of toxicity. Mm -hmm. Uh, the live show is not, uh, is not a planned thing at all. And I'm telling everyone this because uh, really what it is is um, I just wanted to try it. I, I've seen a lot of other podcasts and things where their whole thing is they interview people, uh, just strangers. And I've seen them do it in uh, live audience form, like podcasts but outside or Chris Gethard's Beautiful Anonymous. And I really just wanted to try it out, the format. So I've been thinking about this. I've been trying to think more lately about my stream and the experience from the caller's perspective. Because I really only think about it from my perspective. Um, I, you know, and so what I've been doing is I've been calling into other call-in shows and talking to these people like who on our pan and stuff. And I actually do think there's a lot of value in just listening to people. I think people just want to be listened to because it's kind of sad, but just no one ever fucking listens to each other ever. Like people really only just wait for each other to talk. They don't really interact. People are just saying things at each other. And I'm not perfect. I'm not gonna say that I'm a great, I'm not gonna say that I'm perfect 100% of the time. I reserve the right to not always be a good listener. But when I want to be, when I try to be, I believe I'm a good listener. Um, and I think that people like that. Um, because, you know, you, you know, you ever tell someone something and instead of asking a follow-up question 
or, you know, trying to go deeper into the thing that you say to them, they just redirect it back to themselves or to some other thing. Like, no, people aren't, don't, I just never see it. And, and uh, I don't know, I think, I think people find value in um, someone actually listening to them. Uh, I am Lyle Forever on twitch.tv slash Lyle Forever. Uh, Lyle, the number four ever on Instagram. I am a gecko. I have no idea what I'm doing. I did not think I would ever make it to the Know Your Meme office. Uh, and I'm excited to see how long this, this wave lasts, baby. <laughs>